Welcome back, Tangerines. We made the short drive from Bacalar to Mahawal, where we are now in the state of Quintana Roo. This is the last day, now that we have some perspective on this trip and this town, Essentially, what we want to preface this video with is that if we were coming here off of a cruise ship... Which almost all tourists who visit here are. Just about every single person who comes to this town is coming from the cruise ships. We think this would be a dream destination, dream vacation, a dream city, because essentially you have people right off the cruise ship waiting to pick you up and take you to restaurants beach clubs, hotels, anywhere you want to go, they're ready to accept your U.S. dollars, talk to you in English, and... and this water's amazing. The views are incredible. Yeah, there's tons of shopping, and literally everything you could want for a one-day trip when your cruise drops you off in a city. Mm -hmm. We didn't come here from a cruise ship, and therefore, it's not exactly catered to our experience, or the experience that we... Prefer? Prefer, expected, or mm -hmm. that we generally enjoy when going from town to town in Mexico. It's going to be different if you're coming from a cruise perspective versus, versus hours. traveling here, yeah. like potentially taking a five hour bus ride from Cancun after you spent a whole bunch of money on a flight or something like that. Right now we're driving from Bacalar to Mahawal and it's only just over an hour and we were just saying that the roads were super nice. Now all of a sudden as we're getting close to Mahawal, there's freaking potholes all over the place. <laughs> We're having a bob and weave and swerve. Why are your knuckles white? Oh, I'm <laughs> focused, so focused. Hi, <laughs> cabron. Alaska, hold on to your tail. Give you guys a little tour before we put all of our stuff in here. This is our Mahatwal rental on Airbnb. We got one with AC. We're really excited about that. It came with this dog. Just kidding, that's our dog. Hi, Alaska. A little fridge, kitchenette area. This gorgeous looking bathroom. Oh, look at that shower. It's so nice. Once again, we have a dog. I'm really excited to stay here. You're going to be mistaken for an employee here. <laughs> wow, look at that view. Did you say it's beautiful? Beautiful. <laughs> we just got finished eating at this restaurant called Playa Maya. Bar Maya? Bar Maya. Maya Bar? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good food, good prices, and now we're going back to our Cantarito guy who we got one from the other day. He yeah, uses, we have a Cantarito guy. <laughs> <laughs> he uses all fresh squeezed juice and lots of tequila. It was super delicious, so we're going to show you that. It was 80 pesos the first time, but if you bring it back, it's 50 pesos. So this guy said this drink is originally from Guadalajara, or at least his version is, but without the toronja, the grapefruit soda, like squirt. Mmm! Oh, all that fresh juice. Amazing! <laughs> okay, so we've been here like two or three days now, but mm -hmm. what was your first biggest shock about Mahawal? Number one is that it's unlike any other place we've been in Mexico in that almost 100% of the tourism here and the business comes from cruise ships. And almost every day we've been here, there's either been two or three cruise ships docked. So for a small town, that's just crazy number of visitors. And then we went and to our- this is on small town. Like yeah. this is a very small town. There's maybe a dozen streets in like the town part of it. And then the Malik one basically is just the main street that goes along the ocean. And then we went to our first restaurant and they gave us a menu in dollars and in English. And we asked for a menu in Spanish and in pesos and then they brought that out and the prices were half. <laughs> half. 
of what they were on the other menu. If you're just tuning into our channel and you don't, haven't heard anything else, typically it's just going to be the conversion. So yeah. it's in US dollars. They might add a little bit more it, so that it, when it, they convert it, it's mm. what they want in pesos. Yeah, you might be charged like a 10% conversion fee or something, but it's typically about the same. Here, it was half in pesos. And then we learned from our Airbnb host that cab drivers here charge eight US dollars for tourists and 20 pesos, which is about one dollar to locals. So, and not only that, if there's a cruise ship in town, which there pretty much seems to always be, they won't give rides to locals because they know they can make eight times the amount by going to the, the port. Yeah, so, so what's my biggest shock? It's this super interesting dynamic with all these tourists, all these cruise ships, and everyone trying to make as much money as possible off of them. Before we came here, people told us, oh wow, if you love Bacalar or like you love the ocean or whatever, you're going to love Mahawal. It's way better. So essentially with everyone saying this is good, the best place they've ever been, it's amazing, it's better than Bacalar, I freaking loved Bacalar. Like perhaps my favorite place we've ever been in Mexico. Still hard to say, <laughs> hard to pick one favorite place. But with our expectations that high, we were bound to be let down. And I think when we got here, I was pretty disappointed that it's very difficult to pay for things because everyone wants US dollars. Just like what the locals deal with, getting having the tourists prioritize over them and the cabs, I think that's how it is across the board. But it is gorgeous here and they have what we hear is excellent diving and snorkeling and stuff like that. So windy. And now that the hot, hot sun is going to bed, we are walking around. To dinner. To dinner. There's a lot of stuff on the tourist beach side but almost everything closes the second the cruise ships leave. But we tried out this place yesterday, Fernando 100% Agave. Food was amazing, so that is where we are going now. And they were the only restaurant to give us a menu in pesos without us having to ask. Yeah, this isn't even like a situation where like everyone's trying to scam you. All the tourism, like all the people going to these restaurants, speak English, have dollars. Everyone is just trying to accommodate the people getting off the freaking cruise ship. It's like they don't even want you to have pesos here because there's oh, no yeah. freaking ATMs. Like we <laughs> had to drive all over town and walk all over asking one person, ask, asking the next person, trying to figure out where the heck there was an ATM. One and full day in Mahawal, not even a freaking joke. One day here was spent trying to find pesos. And, and the day we were looking for pesos or any type of currency, the power was out in the whole city. Hotel Costa Maya. Hotel Costa they Maya. They have an ATM. Two, two ATMs. Oh. And those might be the only two ATMs in the whole city as far as we could tell after looking around for a whole day. <laughs> but this is enough complaining for now. Maybe we're just a little bit hungry. Putting this away. If you're wanting to enjoy the restaurants and the beach clubs here, there's kind of a catch-22 because you would want to avoid the crowds, aka avoid when the cruise ships are here. But if there aren't ships here, they're all closed. <laughs> these chairs right over here, all day, they're packed. All day these beach clubs are bustling. When the and cruise now, ship leaves. Now all the shops are closed up. Almost beach all the restaurants are, are closed. Yeah, uh, pretty sparse as far as where we can eat, which is also why Fernando 100% Ogave is very, very appealing. Hola, Hola. Hola. Gracias. 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 couldn't record anything after dinner the other night because Jordan started getting a reaction, a throat reaction, and we pretty much had to 
flee the premises and go home and make sure he was gonna be alive. able to breathe. Yeah, stay alive. <laughs> but now we're gonna be enjoying a nice day at the beach, at this beach club. It's 300 pesos for each of us as a minimum and that can apply to food and drinks. And gratis is this beautiful view of the ocean. We had a really hard time finding a somewhat affordable beach club here though um, that was not sold out and was actually yeah. open when we wanted to go. But look at these freaking menus, how cool is this? It's, <laughs> it's a fish. A fish. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Face Quadro, Face Fish. Face Garda. You can walk out a long way into this water and still be able to touch. One unique thing about Mahawa. question we get a lot is what's the seaweed situation like? Well this big pile right here this is all seaweed and there's a whole bunch on the shore right here. Because it's Sunday and people are taking the day off probably. <laughs> but right over here there's like a rock peninsula that's blocking a huge area of the beach from the seaweed. So there's a significant part of the beach that hardly gets any. So if you come here there's going to be a beach in all likelihood that's free of it. So this is our last day here. It is a Sunday, beautiful weather. It's not windy at all. The first day without a cruise ship. First day without a cruise ship. Not one, not two, not three, zero. <laughs> <laughs> and it's kind of crazy. It seems like it's like locals day or like Mexican day basically because there's no foreigners here at all except for maybe us. Yeah, just a handful. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a handful. <laughs> <laughs> She's a handful alone. Wow. Wow. Uh, but yeah, it's really nice. What, what do you think about the whole time that we've been here in Mahawa? Would you come back? Would you take a flight here? Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go out of my way to come here. Uh, I would come here on a cruise um, and stop yeah. for a day. But I, I don't, I personally don't like the dynamic with the whole cruise ships, US dollar, English stuff going on. I'm inclined to agree with you. I think if I came here, like, the, it's hard to even describe it because I, we've literally never been to a place like this where mm -hmm. I feel like if I had taken a flight there, I would actually be disappointed. And by no means am I talking about the gorgeous water over here or, I mean, basically the water. It's, it's crystal clear totally perfect temperature amazing not talking about that whatsoever the people here are incredibly nice we haven't been scammed really i mean sure prices are in us dollars but it's straightforward I, I, there's yeah. no deception about it it's uh -huh. either like here you can pay in us dollars or here you can pay in pesos but just the cruise ship dynamic it's like people are prioritizing cruise ship people that are here which in a sense makes sense because they're only here for a day and so everyone wants to make sure they have a great time but on the other hand it's like if you were coming here as like a traveler or a tourist outside of a cruise ship then you're kind of getting like the short end of a stick and it would be a little bit of a trick to get here if you're taking a flight and then taking a bus or you know something to get here so let's see if you're coming to the area Go to Bacalar. Go to Bacalar for sure. <laughs> oh, or even Tulum. I, I still I still love Tulum. Well guys, I'm sorry if this isn't our most exciting video that we've ever made. Honestly, we were considering not even posting this because we just really weren't that excited about Mahual. Except the water, please don't get me wrong. Beautiful. <laughs> But if you like this video anyway, let us know in the comments, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel to see our upcoming adventures that we're going to be having going back to Puerto Morelos now. A bunch of you have been asking about that. And one last thing. <laughs>